Hey everyone, welcome to another JavaWide tutorial. Today we're going to be showing off the uh, JavaWide Grid World Sandbox. Um, and today you can see we're running on Windows 7 in um, Firefox 3.0. So, um, let's see, we're going to run over to www.javawide.org. This will be the main page here. Um, you can see you scroll down. And here are all the sandboxes here. We're going to Grid World. Um, up here at the top, you can see some sample code that we have if you want to go through and uh, get an idea of how the, the Grid Runner um, program works. Um, today, the program we're writing is called Bug Runner, which um, you can actually see the code here if you want to have a reference for what we're doing over here. So, first things first, you need to type in your name slash, forward slash, uh, the name of the program, which in this case is Bug Runner. Alright, so, um, once you're in the interface, we need to load the IDE here. And this will be your workspace. And, as you can see, if you can maximize it, if you like a big you know, window to work in. You can keep it embedded in the uh, the wiki framework here um, so that you have access to the tabs as well. Um, all the icons down the side here are, are fully functional and um, save, run um, up here. You can click on these to get to programs, exit. Um, over here is the help dialog where if you want to you can look up the Java API documentation among other things so that you can look up all your different functions. Alright, as you can see, since I've done this before, my code is here. We're going to delete that and start from scratch. Leave a couple spaces at the top in order to, um, so that as we write the program, um, Java Wide will imp automatically import classes that it sees that are involved. And so you don't want those to show up in the middle of your framework, so leave a little space at the top. So let's go ahead and start writing our program. Start with public class bug runner. Enter. Alright. Public static void. Main parentheses. Make sure to capitalize string. Uh, square brackets. args. Close parentheses. Another bracket. Enter. Okay. Type in actor world, one word, world equals. You notice as you hit equals, it automatically imports right up here info.gridworld.actor.star. Um, dot star. So that'll import all of your actors for the new grid world that you're about to make. So new actor world. Open close parentheses. Oops. Mistake. New actor world open close parentheses. And then semicolon. Alright, so next line. World dot add. Open parentheses. Um, we're gonna add a new bug. Make sure to capitalize bug. Open and close parentheses and semicolon. Next line, world dot add. We're gonna add a new rock. New rock. Open and close parentheses. Don't forget your semicolon. And lastly, world dot show. parentheses, semicolon, so everything looks good. We're about to find out, because go ahead and hit the save button up here, and then we'll go through your code. If it finds any bugs, it'll show you what lines those bugs are on. Uh, my code worked out perfectly. Um, so, now that it's saved, go ahead and hit the eyeball here, which is run, and we can actually see our game load up. And here it is. 
So you can see our grid here, you can see our bug, and our rock, which we both imported into that program. Um, and if you hit the step button, it'll take you through each individual step of the program. And you can see them go. Or you can hit the run and play around with the speeds so that you can run them faster or run the program slower. Um, if you hit stop and click on a square, you can also add new things like a rock or another bug. And go ahead and hit run and see how your bugs react to those. Alright, so go ahead and hit stop and then we'll close out of this window here. Um, real quickly we're going to show you some of the advantages to programming with Java wide as opposed to other programmer programming app applications. Um, so go ahead and exit out of this. We've already saved it, so it's there. We'll go over, click on the uh, the wiki framework tab up here for article. You can see it'll load back up our program as well. We can exit out of that though. All right. So down here at the bottom is our code um, in the wiki framework, which is great because if you mouse over some of the different um, parts of your code, you can see uh, some brief mouse over um, pop-ups that'll tell you what each of those different parts will will do or mean. Um, so in this case, a package is used to name the directory or folder a class is in. Um, what's great about these is they work for just about everything, including things like brackets, um, how to use brackets. Um, you can see here a main method. Um, in all of these, if you want more details, you're going to click on them. and It'll open up a new tab. And this one's about importing classes and packages in packages for Apple go back. Um, some of them will also take you to the uh, Java API, um, API documentation as well. So This one's a tutorial, but, but you strings will take us there. Yeah, here you go. So this is the API documentation for uh, strings. Alright, so if you scroll up to the top, you can go to the history tab. What's great about the history tab is it shows all the different versions of this code that you have. So we have our current one, which is saved right here, and we can click on a previous version and compare them. So let's compare these two versions and see what we have. Those are two, that is comparing two blank versions, so let's try a different one. Let's compare these. There we go. So this one, you can see this is our original blank one over here, um, and over here is the program we have. Um, so there's all of your code. And you can see that the, the stuff in red is different than the stuff in black. Um, the things in black are the same, the things in red are different. So um, if you scroll down to the bottom here, you can actually download your code right here. So you can take it with you. And that's all for this time around. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video on YouTube or send us an email um, to our YouTube account. And uh, good luck.